I don't think his form has been as good. I mean, it was yeah. brilliant and maybe it's but Even his goals haven't, haven't been the same. Yeah, and his goals have dried yeah. up a, a little bit. So that's why I was reluctant to say he is the best player in the country. I think he'll get player of the year, but I think yeah. he'll get player of the year for... You think if, if, if City will win, you don't think Kevin De Bruyne gets player no. of the year? How are you, mate? You okay? Good, you. Nice to see you. What are we on today? Who are we representing? I'm representing the mighty Liverpool today. Painful. Painful. And you are Manchester City. Yes. Come on, let's do it. Man City will win the Premier League. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was easy enough, mate, yeah. isn't it? I don't see any of the teams losing. I, I must agree with you. The fact that Liverpool have to go to Southampton tonight after winning the FA Cup and get a result and then get another result and hope Manchester City um, drop some points yeah. against Aston Villa at home. There's so, one yeah. slight element to to it with Stevie and now I'm thinking, please, please don't come back and upset me, Stevie. He's allegedly in my eyes, even though he's Liverpool, but yeah, he could upset me if, uh, if he derails it. But Steve, as a, as a Liverpool fan, if Steven Gerrard is winning Liverpool the title, that's by beating City in the last <laughs> I don't think he gets a medal. I don't think he's, I don't think he's winning them the title. He gets, he gets two medals if he does it. No, I think, I think with Stephen going back and all the playing stuff, and of course, Philip Coutinho, who was at Liverpool at the time, I think it's too much of um, yeah. of a fairy tale, isn't it? For, and, and the big overriding thing is that Manchester City are so good, so dominant, I just cannot see it happening at all. If Liverpool win the quadruple, they will be the greatest side in English history. Oh. Oh. The greatest in history. In the history, of course they are. What happens if they don't win that's any not the, more than they've got? Not the, that's not the question. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to say agree. City. I'm not strongly well, agree. Listen, if Manchester City won the quadruple, I'd say they were the greatest team. Yeah, I know you history. would. But it just pains me to say that <laughs> Liverpool could be <laughs> could be the greatest team. So I was going to say agree. Yeah, oh, yeah agree. Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah, I'll be I, strong, I strongly agree because this never ever happens. They'll have played in yeah. every single game. Yeah, yeah. They'll have reached three finals. Yeah. Liverpool has got a great history, you know, and. Um, They've won the treble before, and the great teams that have gone before them. Great European history. Yeah, yeah, but this 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 team, if they win if they win four trophies, I think it surpasses anything. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. To be fair, it just pains me to say that. Oh, I'll go agree then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but who, if it's not them, who would be the greatest? Who's, who would you guys have currently as the best side ever? Oh, that's a good question. You, Invincibles think, got to be up there because that's yeah. something that's never been done before. Anybody who's done the treble. I think as footballers, we know how difficult it is, isn't it? And if you win three trophies in a year, the Invincibles was superb not losing the game. Yeah. So I think if you can set a new record in that respect... What do you think it would be harder to do now for these teams? Do the treble or Invincibles? Probably, probably Invincibles, yeah, yeah. I think it's probably easier for these two teams to win three trophies in a yeah. season. Certainly in England, it's hard work, isn't yeah. it? It's hard, hard work. Man City won't be considered a big club until they win the Champions League. Three... Two, one. They're the favourites pretty much every year mm. in the Champions League, so how can they not be considered a big club? I'm with you. Yeah. I, I think they are a big club. I disagree with the comments. I think they are a big club. Yeah. I think there's something about winning the Champions League to propel them to their sort of, not the next level, but to give yeah. them a little bit of originality in the eyes of other people, that's all. But I, I, so the teams that have won it, 100%, I, yeah. I understand why they're saying that. Yes. But I don't think it's because they believe that. I think it's just because they haven't won it and that's the only thing they have yeah. over yeah. them at the moment. I think they're a fantastic team. The history is not as, as strong as other teams, but that's, that's, that's just football it's in coming. general. Exactly. And it's coming, yeah, yeah as long as they're... As long as, yeah. What did you guys think about Patrice Evra's comments about that they lack big characters? Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I think, think he's awesome. doing it for, yeah. for the gram. He's trying to be relevant <laughs> socially rather than believing that. <laughs> this is a guy that's ate raw chicken. I know. Online. <laughs> Come on. We're not taking that serious, are we? I know, exactly. <laughs> you should, exactly. You shouldn't even, you shouldn't even be having that yeah. as a point of reference, what he yeah, says. Yeah, let's move back yeah, to the middle. Move, yeah, get that. <laughs> Steve McManaman's team of players he played with would beat Julian oh, Lescott's oh. team of players that he played with. Oh. I'm, I'm going to. Liverpool. No, you played with Career. anywhere. Oh, anybody? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's winning. <laughs> See, he's winning, man. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't. Do you know why he's winning? Because he's got my favourite player of all time. He played with R9, so... There you go, then. We're done. I'm not, I'm not even... Don't out here. I and disagree, but I'm going to And he's with playing you. with me. And he's playing against me. It'd be a good game. It'd be a good yeah, game. I wouldn't dare be... 
a and blase it, yeah. to, to say to say that. But. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a good game. But R9 taps it for me. There you go. Like if I'm picking, it's playing against Rio and and Vinny, so it's mm. gonna be tough. Mm. It's R9. R9 wins. So I'm gonna say. Okay. His team wins. Strongly agree. God, Steve, you play with some players. You... No, no. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, I mean, they were, they were brilliant. I mean, it's just, as you said, you know, when you talk about the names, of course, they're um, yeah. the big names, the, you know, World Player of the Year names and stuff. But, you know, it's, um, you wouldn't necessarily say they'd beat them just for the sake of it. But, yeah, I was very fortunate to play with a load of really nice players. Yeah, really good players. <laughs> You're too modest. <laughs> who's, the, uh, who's the best player you both played with? Yeah, yeah, Torre. I was saying, like, the best footballer I played with was David Silva. Mm. The best player I played with was Yaya. Because I said, if, if he played well, we won. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was done. And that year where he was, everything he did, he just dragged that the team. Yeah, Remember against 30, Palace 40, and stuff when was, he scored goals and scored great 20 goals. goals. Yeah. 20 goals, he think got 13 assists. Yeah. But what, his pass accuracy for the season was 90%. Yeah, yeah. For the season. I know. I was just like... He was a great yeah, player, yeah, isn't yeah. he? And then he, he just falling out with Pep. He's just knocked him yeah. a little bit, you know, his... his the all yeah. about him, which is a pity, really, because he's a, lo a lovely fella. And see who's the best player you played um, with? I played with Zidane. I thought he was superb. He was a great player. <laughs> and he disagrees that his team would win. <laughs> Shut up, Steve. Yeah. Next question. Next question. <laughs> R9 was brother. <laughs> uh, Steve, you're not going to like this one either with your modesty there, then. Oh, no, uh, I, don't like, I don't like saying things like that. Yeah, no, you're about to get this one even worse for you then. So, uh, Steve McManaman is English football's most successful export. Well, that is true. I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's true. Facts. That's facts, that's yeah. Facts. That's, yeah facts. that's facts, yeah. It used to be the UK until Gareth Bale won four yeah. Champions Leagues. But yeah, that's easy. That's a fact. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, fortunately, or fortunately, I am, yeah. yeah. yeah is that a point of great pride for you, Steve? Not particularly. I'm not bothered, to be honest. It's, I, um, I believe him that he's not bothered. I'm, I'm bothered for him. <laughs> yeah. I'm bothered. Um, I'd be bothered. Yeah, it's nice that people mention it, but, you know, that, that'll that be surpassed soon, so it doesn't really. Why who? It, no, but on. In, no, but not now, but in the future, someone will go whether it's Jude or, you know, someone will go no, abroad and no. win trophies. But Jude's coming back. No, I know, but someone will go in. It's like, I was the UK and then Gareth went and won four Champions League. So then it's, oh, actually, Gareth is. So now I'm England. So no, but I, be, I think I'm, English teams I'm, are going to take our talent. <laughs> English, our English teams will take England's yeah, I hope so. Talent. I hope so. And if that carries on, great. But I just think it, I don't get bothered about that. No one ain't going like to Madrid that. and scoring in the final of the Champions League get, anyway. I don't get bothered about that. <laughs> so, this is... so yeah, it's a really nice thing, but it's all it's all good. All right, great. Give okay. me one of them questions. <laughs> <laughs> Give Jolene a question. Give me some <laughs> one of them about the championship. <laughs> with Wolves. <laughs> Mo Salah has been the best player in the Premier League this season. Very, very, just half, half of a green. And, and I say this because I think City win the league and I always think, say when you're picking that player of the year, they should always come from the team that's won the league. Picking the best player and him not achieving what he set out to mm. do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, he's been immense. I think he's been different though since mm. he's come back from... So do I. That's why I was a bit... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why I was he's been bit. the same. Yeah, because if he had been, I don't think he'd been rested as much as he mm. has been. Outstanding, but yeah, no, I don't think he's. Been yeah, I, I think from August to December, he was the standout player of the year. I know Bernardo yeah. had it, Bernardo yeah. Silva played well, but I thought he was the standout player. But I think since the African Nations, him losing yeah. to, to uh, Mane in the final, and then the World Cup Four qualifications, players, yeah. and him losing to Mane in the final, like I, I don't think. Yeah, fought. yeah, I don't think his form has been as good. I mean, it was yeah. brilliant, and maybe it's. But even his goals haven't, haven't been the same. Yeah, and his goals have dried yeah. up a, a little bit. So that's why I was reluctant to say he is the best player in the country. I think he'll get Player of the Year, but I think yeah. he'll get Player of the Year for. You think if if, if City will win, you don't think Kevin De Bruyne gets Player no. of the Year? Because I, I, as I said, my. I think it's. Play I think Player of the Year is already done, like like it was when we when we were yeah. playing. I think it, it gets done quite early, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, you used to got doing too early. Yeah. Doing so it in Mar uh, yeah. February, March. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, what? So I think the fact that. Liverpool being, I've just won the FA Cup and getting to the final of the Champions League, I think they'll give it to a Liverpool player. And I think, likewise, the Ballon d'Or will be given to whoever wins it, Benzema yeah. or... And then so you don't think he's Manny. won that? No. So I Who? think Benzema, I think he's already won it. I just think if Mane wins the African Nations and wins the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup and then wins the Champions League... I think they bypass him though. Do you I think th so? Yeah, I think they bypass Even though I don't think they should. Yeah, wow, OK. I think they do. Okay. I think they do. Him to win it, I think he has to contribute to them winning. Yeah. Where if Real Madrid just win, just it, win it without Benzema scoring. Yeah. Likewise, I think if Real Madrid win it, 
Win yeah. the Champions League, I think Benzema definitely deserves to get it. But you both agree it's between Salah and De Bruyne for Premier League Player of the Year. Yeah, I think they, they, I yeah. think that is what it is. That's what I. That's yeah. certainly yeah, what yeah, I'd yeah. say. No one from Bruyne, like someone like Son from. God no. Oh. God no. <laughs> I mean, come on. For what? I can hear that. For what? So that's what me. Second top goal scorer. He's so <laughs> and. <laughs> Cal Walker is still England's best choice at right back. Three, two, one. Are we in a final or are we just <laughs> playing in a tournament? Let's say we're in the we're in the knockout rounds of the World is Cup. Is Gareth Southgate still manager? Yes. Well, then he is the he is, yeah. the, he is, the, he is the best, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Over Trent? No, I don't think he's a better player than Trent. I just think yeah, Gareth Southgate airs on the on the side of caution all the time. And he plays too defensive for me when I watch England. I don't think. But you're that... talking like Rhys James is in there as well. It's not just between them two. I know. Like, but in regards to what England need, I think they need. Yeah, I would say Kyle Walker. Mm. But if what? But if you, if either of you ring a manager right now, I wouldn't pick Kyle Walker. No. Who would you pick? That's who, what I'm who? saying. I'm thinking, what game or what game are we in? Let's say we're in the let's say we're in the quarterfinal of the World Cup against or against a Germany or someone like that. Kyle Walker, well, that's the reason we got through, is because Kyle Walker <laughs> recovered. <laughs> so, yes, he's in there. I'm going to go strongly agree then if that's the case. <laughs> if I was picking my right back, I'd go for someone. I'd go for Reese or Trent. Yeah. If and I understand I was, that. I, picking, I understand that. Yeah, and I, I was I, picking I, my yeah, team. I see and that. And that's no disrespect to Kyle Walker. No, it's I not. I don't really disrespect to any of them. They're all that level where you can't disrespect any of them. So, Gareth Southgate, I agree with. If it was me, I would disagree with. Yeah, that's all. I'm, I'm going to agree because I still feel England as a team are not Liverpool or City. Do you think England are too defensive minded when you watch them play? Uh, no, I. If you were England, mind you, would you play with five at the back? I think the formation suits the players we've got. I would personally, when I watched them get to the final last year, I'd like them to be more. Who's your back four? Minded. I would have had. I don't mind having Kyle Walker yeah. as a as a right back. I just I would have always played with four. I wouldn't have played with two sitting midfielders. It. We had Declan and Calvin Phillips, and I just thought it was too negative against teams. I, that was my personal opinion. You know, we got to the final. Yeah. What, what do I know? <laughs> Last on pins. <laughs> yeah. Is there anyone who you're looking at now going? They'll be a surprise who could break into the England squad for the World Cup. Yeah, for the World Cup. I'm gonna say Jacob Ramsey. Hmm. I've seen him, I know him, work with him. But yeah, you work with him, don't you? Yeah. His reputation's he, yeah. good, isn't it? His work ethic's good. Mark and obviously Connor are in there, but someone that's uncapped, not involved, I want to say Jacob. He moves like Yaya Toure. That's a lot of pressure, mm. Jacob, so I hope you're listening. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But he moves like Yaya Toure. The current Liverpool forward line is the best strike force in Premier League history. Premier League history. Premier League history. Yeah. I'll disagree with that as well. You know, we're only talking about the last couple of years and you sit here and you're trying to think of the, you know, the great forward lines, aren't you, in the past? And then you think about the Man United forward lines, Thierry Henry and Bergkamp <laughs> and Pires and Overmars. They were outstanding. Oh. You quickly forget about them. Yeah. Because you're sitting here now knowing... Seeing uh, something from yeah, recent we, weeks. We, we know about it now. Yeah. I think maybe in a couple of years, if, this, if, the, if they continue to be successful, maybe. But I wouldn't just say it after Yeah, Diaz one has been year. there, what, four months? Yeah. Jota's Jota been there. 18. Still, yeah. I wouldn't make that statement yeah, It's a yet. big statement, that. In your own personal opinion, if you had to pick a front two from Premier League history, who would you pick? Any two strikers, so you're pairing them together. Oh, Let's do that. Someone like Shearer and Henri or some... Shearer's got to be in the Shearer conversation. Shearer has to be in yeah. the conversation. Because he scored the most. And he wasn't in the best team. Yeah. I'm, go I'm going to go... Thierry was good. He's in there. Thierry was brilliant. I'm going to go Thierry and Aguero. Ooh. Oh, actually, I want to say Waza. I love Waza, yeah. Oh, yeah, Waza was, was different. Primetime Waza. I know. Waza and Henri. I can't, I, uh, I have to have... Yeah. You go Shearer? I have to have Shearer in. Yeah, because, yeah. Shearer was, was more close to Shearer, yeah. He brilliant, he was. Wazza's was my Shearer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to go on. Yeah, I'm too old for... I'm too young <laughs> no, for Shearer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit too old for Wazza, but being a scouser, I should have him in me too. Yeah. I should have him in. But you're no. not, yeah, you're not disrespecting him by no, picking Shearer, no, though, are you? You know what I mean? <laughs> so Henri, I'll go for Henri Shearer. Henri. And he can go Rooney. Yeah. He can go Even Rooney. though Sergio, honourable mention, but yeah. Erling Haaland will be the Premier League's top goal scorer next season. I think if he stays fit, yeah, if we're going on that, then I'm just going to say agree. Oh. I actually think I think if he stays fit, he could be brilliant. I really do. Oh yeah, I think he'd be brilliant. 100%. And I think Liverpool's forwards will 
spread it around a bit more now. Do you think he'll just score more than Salah? One of them might be moved on next year, one of the forwards. I don't know. Because yes. I don't think you can keep you can't keep five happy, can and you? I think so, Salah or Mane are waiting who so, signs first. <laughs> <laughs> so I, one I, of them checks. Yeah, so I think Liverpool will scatter their goals across the board next year rather than because Mo hit the first five months and Sadio's hit the yeah. last. And I think that'll go across the year. Cause now Diaz has come in, he'll score more goals next year. And I think they'll it'll be dispersed across the board. Where I think who do you think's top goal scorer for Liverpool next year? I think it'll be Mo again because yeah. he takes the pens. Yeah, but I think Haaland. Haaland, yeah, I think, I think he'll outscore. All I think of them. he's takes pens next yeah. season. I think well. he'll outscore all of them. Yeah. I do. If, if he, he has a season like Lukaku, it'll be a huge oh, surprise. Yeah. yeah. Where because the way they use Manchester City play, I expect him to be yeah. just a, a machine scoring goals. We both deserved more England caps. Oh, I definitely agree with that. Yeah. Deserved. I want to say I wish, I'd, wish I had some more. <laughs> but I, I was unfortunate. My timing was bad, to be fair. <laughs> I come in there, it was Seoul. And Seoul stepped down, it was Terry and Rio. And I was just there, just waiting around for them. And then <laughs> kind of finished around about the same time. So yeah. I missed my opportunity. Probably got more than I thought I was going to get when I was starting out. So it's not yeah, bad. I, I think only because when I was starting out and getting into the England teams, Back then, the club, they controlled you. So yeah. there'd be times when I'd be called off an England team and I'd be told, you're not going, you have to stay here. You know, and they'd be, I'd go, OK, and, and that'd be it. And then other yeah. times you might... How many caps was it? I had 37 yeah. in the end. But in the end, I should have had more. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. And circumstances, so, as you said, sometimes you're on the subspens and you don't get on. Mm. Sometimes you should. You think you should be on and you're not on. But... It is what it is. When I missed the World Cup in 2002, I didn't get called into the squad after we just won the Champions League. You know, you feel as if you should have went, but you know, you, maybe if I, I would have played better for England, that I would have got picked. But sometimes it's just, you know. There was, was more of a bias then though, where you had to was, really be in England. I, yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. I was playing in Spain a lot. And I, 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 you well, weren't playing in Spain, Steve. No, you played for Real Madrid. But, no, but you like, weren't on the te- you know, That's like what now, I mean, yeah. Every game's on the yeah. television. Everybody knows what everybody's doing. That's the doing. thing. So I'm you back- had to be in England yeah, maybe. to get the recognition. Yeah, maybe. Did Sven come out to watch you much at Madrid? No, God, I think he came out ever. I mean, again, don't get me wrong, I wasn't bothered that he never came out. I, I, I mean, I'm certainly not sure in that. In that. I, I think no, but I may be wrong. Not that I know of. But again, I wasn't, I wasn't that bothered about He didn't need to come out to... Um, not with technology in two, you know, in the early 2000s. Yeah. I just won the Champions League. What champ- do you need to go and see? I just won the Champions League. I don't think it matters. Yeah, about to say, much. yeah, what, what do we need to confirm? What? If I'm yeah. scoring in the Champions League final, yeah, what, what maybe confirmation? You just, maybe you just, I should have played better. So, <laughs> <laughs> two goals, got two goals. No, but you know what I mean? You know, it is what it is, isn't it? Man United are a shambles. Oh, <laughs> don't push this off the table. I, I just want to just slide it up. <laughs> how, how far have we got? Have we got a strongly, strongly, strongly <laughs> agree? <laughs> yeah. Me and Patrick were like, that, it was that physical battle we had. So I didn't see Gerard. I didn't have that hatred for Gerard. I, I, I wouldn't say I liked him, but I, <laughs> I, hate, I didn't have that hatred for him because maybe he was technically a different type of player to Patrick. I don't know. Well, Man, Man United tried to sign Stevie. Gary went to uh, Stevie's room at England. Oh, yeah. But how, how, would, how would that have worked oh, to Manchester United? Oh, you and Stevie? Well, obviously, he would have been the Rezies, wouldn't he, for a while? <laughs> <laughs>